everyone, you're watching Good Creative Tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe. Uh, I have weekly new Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator tutorials. Today we're going to do a layered, textured look. I have an actual real world example from an advertisement here um, that just basically takes a photo, adds a th threshold effect, and there's a couple ways you could do it. You can mask out an area, but really I think layer blending modes uh, work just as fine for this example. And they just have a, another photo of people in a concert that kind of shows through. And then either a gradient or you can use some large uh, soft brushes to add that color as well. So go ahead and download the support file. I have that in the links. And also the other one under Creative Commons. This one is just my friend Kelly. And this one's from Creative Commons. I'll put the link there for credit. And we're going to create this look here. All right, so you can use this in ads and magazine layouts, uh, you know, various projects you may be working on. With this photo open, kelly.jpg, uh, go ahead and go to, uh, uh, well, before we do that, just press Control or Command J. We're going to work on duplicated layer. I like to do that. And go ahead and go to Image, Adjustments, and then we need to find Threshold. And just move the Threshold back and forth, and you can kind of see what it does, what the effects is doing. Uh, so we, we want a little bit of detail. You don't want it too far to the right or the left, so um, I'm going to put, I said about uh, 100 or so, maybe 104, something like that. Click OK. So now we have our just a uh, black tone there and a white background. All right. Now we need to bring over that other photo. So uh, if you can see in this example, we have the photo below it. So go ahead and you can copy and paste this if you want or drag it over. I'll just select it with the marquee selection tool. Press Control or Command C to copy it. Go over here and then paste it in. I'm going to zoom out here and uh, just resize it. Make sure you have Show Transform Control selected and then you choose the Move tool. And we just need it kind of in the area just where uh, Kelly is. So we don't want it not covering that entire area with the black pixels. So something like that's fine for now. I'm going to hit Enter. And I'm going to drag on the Layers palette. Uh, that cityscape below layer one. All right. So first step we need to do is select this top layer and change the layer blending mode. You can see what the different ones do, but for this example, I mean, lighten works to a little bit, screen works, uh, just depending on what kind of look you're going for. On this example, I use screen. All right. So now we kind of see through wherever those black pixels were to the area below it. We could do a mask or delete the pixels, but for this example, I think layer blending modes are going to work fine. All right, next up, we need to add a gradient. So um, we need to use just create a new layer, the layer panel there, just create a new layer, click on that at the bottom of the layers palette, and then you can add a gradient, just press G, and that'll select the gradient tool. And you can click up here if you want to choose a specific one, and uh, you can also um, change the effects here if you want it radial, or just gradual there, linear, but anyway, I'm just going to click and drag, just slightly diagonal. And it adds this uh, gradient effect here. All right. You can see in our other example it is pretty similar. And all we got to do is change that layer blending mode to color burn at the top. And then it shows through. All right. And then there's our effect. Now you can, instead of doing a gradient like that, let me show you another thing you might want to do. Uh, just select a foreground color. Let's just do something kind of similar. 
and if you choose a, a large soft edge brush press the right bracket to make it quite larger and then just click and let go click and let go, click and let go and we choose another color here, maybe darker red, something like that something like that and then change that again to color burn you get just a little bit different instead of being a gradient it's more of a brushed look kinda like the original it's not probably not a, a gradient in that example it looks more like a brushed with a lighter orange yellowish there and then red and darker red maroon and some of the other areas All right. so that's how you create a layered textured look um, using a couple simple techniques in Photoshop Thanks.